Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I had a request to color from one of the Zenzu Creative books that I did flip throughs of in the past. I have mermaids and mermen and also fairies and flowers. So I will link both of these books down below. I do have uh, flip throughs of these in my flip throughs playlist. So if you want to see complete flip throughs of these two books, they're really, really cute. Had a hard time picking what picture we were going to do. Um, I decided to go with one out of Mermaids and Mermen. And I was looking through my, you know, uh, requested videos list from you guys. I am going to kill not one, not two, not three, but four birds with one stone. Not that I condone killing birds, this is just figuratively speaking. Um, but number one, I'm going to color out of a Zenzu Creative. Number two, I had a request to color with marker base and then pencil over the top. Number three, to color with the uh, the Cezanne colored pencils. Now this is the C-E-Z-A-N colored pencils. And then the last one was to color out of a book I've never colored in before. So we're going to hit all four of those things today. <laughs> This is going to be a very uh, trying coloring for me. I'm going to be way out of my comfort zone because I think I've only colored once or twice with a marker base and pencil over the top. So, uh, yeah, I am definitely no expert. So, there are lots and lots of videos out there for those of you who are looking um, how to put a marker base down and, and shade in with colored pencils. Tons and tons of them. And actually, I should, <laughs> now that I think about it, <laughs> probably should have watched one or two of them before I started this. But hey, if it ends up a flop, it ends up a flop. You guys can see that not everything has to be perfect, right? We learn by doing, and I guess I'll learn on camera. <laughs> so we're, we're going to see how this goes. So I'm going to put a Copic base down, um, and I'm going to start with her. And then I want to do some shading in her dress with the Cezanne colored pencils and like her skin and her hair. And that's, and this here is like a seaweed tail. And that's probably as far as we're going to get today. Him, I am going to be doing off camera, but I'm, I'm going to do something a little bit different with him. Because if you see, he and his six pack <laughs> blends down into the tail part. And there's no cutoff here, so I really can't use a marker base on this on this dude. <laughs> um, and so what I thought I would try, and I have not done this at all yet, um, I'm going to get out my pan pastels, and I'm going to work with pan pastels on him, and then um, put some colored pencil over the top of that. And like I said, I'm going to do that part off camera. I didn't know if you guys wanted to see that. Plus, like I said, we're going to be lucky if we have time to do some of her. So I won't have time to get to him today. Um, and then I also thought up here, I was just going to use some gel pen or, um, I don't know. I want to throw a lot of different things at this picture. I am not one that typically does you know, that I use a lot of different mediums in a page. Uh, I typically stick with one thing and one thing only. But I thought, hmm, these fish would be really pretty nice and bright. And I thought, hmm, maybe I'll get out my ink tints for that. So I'm going to do some playing around with this picture and you will see it at the end of the month, not in May. I have to do all those videos yet this weekend. But 
you will see this uh, finished picture the end of June. I will also be posting it on Instagram when it's done. I don't know when it'll be done, <laughs> uh, but uh, um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be working on it here and there. So I just noticed I did not bring over my Copic color chart. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to do what a lot of you do and just scribble on here. <laughs> I'm going to do the skin first. I always like to start out with the skin. And I know a lot of times I, hmm, wonder if EO1, I want to go with nice and light so that we can shade in with the pencils. I think that's a little too dark. Sometimes I go with the E51. Mm, yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. So we are just going to color her in and then we are going to do some shading before we go on to, I think we'll do her hair next. And then we will go on to her dress. This is nice paper. The uh, alcohol ink does not bleed outside the lines much at all. This is, this can't be Amazon paper. Huh, yeah it is. It doesn't feel like Amazon paper. See, now there are a few different types of Amazon paper if you're not aware of that. This Amazon paper feels very different and not as rough as the Amazon paper that is used in books like Jade Summer, um, Sun Life Drawing, Belba Family. Those are all a different type of Amazon paper. This is uh, smoother, doesn't seem quite as absorbent or thirsty as those other books. So yeah, it. I didn't think this was Amazon paper, but it is. She has long, slender fingers. Let me zoom you in. Sorry, guys. Oh, that's a little close. Okay. <laughs> Up close and personal. So, yeah, I'm going to be able to mark off a few more things off of my video to-do list. I'm getting there, folks. I'm getting there. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's kind of nice because I never have to sit and wonder, oh, gosh, what should I, what should I do a video on this weekend? <laughs> you know, I always have something to do. So I do appreciate when you guys ask, hey, could you do this or, you know. It's like, sure. I always tell you guys, you know, that it may be a bit before I get to it, but it is on my list. Now, these must be her ears. They're kind of like fishy gill ears, right? Kind of like his. Now, I'm not sure that must be part of her dress down below that. I got to kind of sit back and look. These actually look like her collarbones, though, but her, her skin wouldn't go all the way down there. Right? Isn't this like her collarbone? She's pretty flashy then. <laughs> um, yeah, because this looks like her dress. Well, I guess I guess we're gonna make it all skew. Little floozy. <laughs> eh, they're under the sea. People don't see them. Okay, I did bleed out of the lines a little bit here, so I see I do have to be a little bit more careful, but that's okay. That that will get covered up. 
So is that all the skin on here? Because I'm thinking this is part of her dress. See, maybe that was part of the dress. Hmm. I don't think so, though, because the line doesn't go all the way up to here. Yeah, I, I think that's just like her collarbones, right? Well, anyhow. Okay, now we are going to use the Cezanne pencils. And I want to get a little bit deeper of a tone to shade in here now. And... Let's see. I used a yellower tone in here, and maybe I shouldn't have. What's going to go in there? I don't have, hmm, unfortunately, I really don't have, like, light tans and stuff to go in and shade nicely in here. Because my darkest will come first. So I wonder if I should do a khaki, but that's almost going to be too dark. Oh, what to do. See, that's the hardest part. I think I'm just going to go very lightly with light saddle brown. You're going to have to excuse my arms because I had to put my pencils up here because I have my Copics next to me on the right hand side. And let's get down to the browns. I know, believe it or not, I do not have my Cezans in a pencil case. So we want light saddle brown 131. One twenty eight. 108, oh my goodness sakes. Well, where am I here? Jasmine, okay. Two after that. Okay, I think we got it. Yes. Okay. Well, let's just see how this is going to look by just lightly shading underneath her hair here. And then we're gonna blend it in with a skin tone color pencil. And then I think I may do her blush with a pan pastel too. So I don't know if I'll be, I think I'll put the blush in. Off camera. Now it's going to look horrible at first. I think we'll just kind of come in and shade on each one of these. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I should have planned this out. <laughs> what, what color base I was going to put down and what pencil color. But I didn't. Okay, it'll be shaded back here. Probably down in here. Okay. Let's get a light, let's get a skin tone then in there. Let's try. Because I want to, to blend it all in, I... I think I want to use, yeah, I really do not have good skin tones in this set. Mm. So I'm not sure how good she's going to turn out. 
Um, yeah. Let's go with the honey orange. I'm going to have to put these back. Yeah, so, yeah, this, this may not look the best because I am having a hard time. For those of you who do portrait work and stuff, yeah, these Cezannes don't have the best skin tone colors. But, yeah, let me look for honey orange 079. Now I know why I put these typically in pencil cases because... Boy, I can't find anything right now. Honey orange, honey orange, 126. That's apricot. Next one. Okay, honey orange. Okay, so now I'm going to go back over that darker tone, kind of blowing that in. Like I said, this probably ain't going to turn out the best because of the colors that I have, but we'll kind of blend it in here. And I just kind of go in circles. And then we'll go in with the one lighter tone yet. And kind of blend it all together. Again, this is not a tutorial. <laughs> Jack of all trades, but master of none. Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> So yeah, this is something I don't do very often, but I really have wanted to get into it more. So again, I'm glad I was asked to do this. Kind of makes me get out of my comfort zone a little, which is which is good, you know. It, it's something we you know should do once in a while. Not that we have to. Just if you want to challenge yourself a little. How is she looking? Eh, not too bad, I guess. Let's get out that lightest color. Which this is really on the pinkish side. So I don't know. But yeah, we're we're gonna go for it. It's about the only thing I really have to work with, so and that is yeah, this peachy kinda pink color. Let's see. And I know a lot of people that, you know, they'll just, they'll go back in here and do it all over again and layer it up. I'm not going to on camera. I may, you know, off camera do some further adjusting and, you know, filling in of the white spaces a, a little bit more. But for the sake of this color and chat, I'm just going to go over it once. So it's going to give her a little bit of, bit of a rosy glow to her skin. I 
there. How does that look? How does it look on camera? Nah, I guess that ain't too bad. Um, let's do some shading on her arms. Oh my gosh, it's been 20 minutes already and I haven't gotten anything done. Let's not do the shading on her arms. We're, we're going to go to her hair. I'll do the other shading of the skin off camera. I didn't realize we were going that long already. Time flies when you're having fun. Um, kind of want to give her like a blondish brownish hair. So I think, I think, I think. Yeah, okay. I feel like I'm missing some colors here. Hmm. Okay. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. So I want to start with, again, a light layer so we can put the pencil work in. So, um, boy, I wish I had my color chart over here for my Copics. I'm trying to think what would be a good type of base. Mustard? No. Too dark. Um, yellowish beige? Mm, no. <laughs> See? Now you wouldn't have to sit through all of this if I had my color chart. I know. I know what you're thinking. I could just pause and go and get it. And I think that's what I'm going to do because otherwise I could be sitting here forever. I'll be back one more. Yeah, already. I am back. Oh, I can't decide. Took me forever. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a real light kind of palish yellow down. And then we will go in and, and shade with some of the pencils. So... I am using Y21 Buttercup Yellow. So we'll go in here. Yeah, the images in the, these two books are just so adorable. I just have a little bit of a problem with them because you know me and the nice thick black lines. <laughs> but if I am using pencils, then it's not near so, you know, near as bad. If I'm just putting a marker base down. So we'll get this down and then decide what colored pencils we're going to use. See, this is why I like color by number. <laughs> no decisions. But it is nice to do this sometimes though too. You get to use your creative mind and then be proud of what you've done even if it doesn't turn out right like I said this could end up being an epic fail especially when I get around to doing him but we shall see Okay, leave her hair like that. Okay, now there's a couple browns that I want to go in here with. And let's see. Let's start with the light saddle brown again that I kind of did with her hair. So we're just going to do a little bit of shading under in here. Just around her head. And then kind 
kind of where they drew the lines in kind of helps you a little so I'm not going to be spending a ton again a ton of time on this on camera I will be working more off camera as far as you know maybe getting some highlights in here right now I'm just going to get some base colors down just so I can kind of see what colors I want to put in here because I do have a darker brown that I want to put in here too yet and then I'm going to be doing some blending of those together. Who all out there has um, worked with marker and pencil over the top? And if you have, what brand of markers what brand of pencils do you find work well together and I am so rude I never asked you guys how you are doing. How is your weekend going? Okay, we're gonna leave that. And you can't even hardly see that on camera, can you? I can see it here. It's not showing up too well on camera. I wonder if it's too bright. If I should maybe try toning this down a little. Oh, not that much. Let's get you back up. Okay. That's a little better, huh? You can kind of see it a little bit more now. Okay, I want to go in with a... I think a... Let's see, should we go on the reddish side? Yeah, let's go on the reddish side. So that would be bronze. So I'm going to get to my... Boy, I gotta get these in a pencil case. Should have done that before I started coloring with them. I don't know if I have a spare pencil case or not. I should. Okay, I'm gonna actually turn this a little. Okay. Let's get a little bit of a darker brown in here. And we'll do a little bit of shading in here then so we can get some highlights going. Let's go back in with this color I think I almost need a shade a little bit darker than that for the shadows. Let's go with light chocolate. 
which sounds like it would be really dark, but it really isn't. Not in this set. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to like these colors together. So the, the markers just kind of give you a base, you know, just so you're not starting out with white paper. And then I'm going to work on the rest of her hair off camera so we can get going on her dress a little bit. But just to kind of show you how this works over the top of markers. Let's put a little bit more of the dark in here. There, how's that looking on camera? It is kind of the color I was going for though. It's it's like a golden yellow. Yeah, I think I kind of like that. So I will go ahead and do the rest of her hair like that. Leave these pencils out. I'm going to do some more shading and stuff in her skin too off camera. Um, just so she doesn't look quite so pale. And if they have to bring in, I may have to bring in a color or two from another set. Because like I said, I'm kind of limited um, with colors from the Cezanne as far as skin tones. But I do like how that goldeny hair is turning out just with that tint of red to it. So yeah, I think that's pretty. I like that. So I think the hair is going to turn out nice. Let's go on to her dress. And I thought with these being, you know, kind of like seaweed tails to her dress, I do want to kind of do them in an olive green. So I wanted something kind of along that line, but not that deep. So I'm thinking maybe we'll go like with some type of blue green, some kind of aqua green. I should see what colors I have in here. <clears throat> so I kind of know what I can go with as a base. So maybe as shades, we'll use something through here with the pencils. So let's look at what we can put for a light base. Maybe like G00 would work. Let's try that. Let's see how that works. G zero zero. Okay, so um, yeah, I think I'll just do all of this in this base, and then we'll base this with a different color. I'll be working on her lips too off camera. This is the thing that's so nice about the Copics is you can get into such fine details with just a tip of the of the brush tip. Didn't seem like this paper was bleeding at all in the beginning, but it it does. It bleeds over the line. So if you go really lightly up by the edges, it's not so bad. Ooh, that's a pretty color, isn't it? 
Oh, love the color. Of course, I was going to go with my uh, purple and pink, but <laughs> and I thought, no, let's coordinate it with something greenish. And I thought with them being underwater, dancing underwater in her ball gown. <laughs> okay, let's do this ruffle. But I tell you, had uh, shorts on during the week, or during, yeah, during this past week, it was so hot and muggy for a while that I actually turned on the central air. I don't hardly ever turn on central air. But yeah, just to get the humidity out so that we could kind of sleep at night a little better. Um, you know, and, and that, of course, really helps <clears throat> and now as of yesterday I had to put pants back on and the furnace is back on <laughs> we're supposed to get in the 30s to was it tonight it's like oh mother nature is so fickle so yeah there's a frost advisory out if you have tender vegetation like you know tomato plants and a lot of people have stuff planted already it is almost june for crying out loud we were so below normal then for a little bit we were quite a bit above normal now we're going back the other way it's like ah uh, up down up down wonder why people get sick and i'm not just talking Corona either. Oh, isn't that a pretty color? Let's see, what else has been going on around here? Not a whole lot. Oh, Bob. Um, yeah, we had gone in on Wednesday, and he had his procedure done, and they did end up putting in another stent. And I guess this is a brand new type of stent that just came out. His doctor actually had never put one in before. But when he seen that they came out with this, he thought right away of Bob because it's a little bit longer than the other temporary ones he had had in the past. So they're hoping, fingers crossed, that this one will not get dislodged and move on them, which is what happened in the past. And that's why they put the permanent stent in last time, but it was a little too long. And I think that's why he had all that pain because it, you know, was going down into his stomach a little bit and formed ulcers. He had ulcerated areas down in there. <laughs> and that's where all his pain was coming from. So they opted not to put this one in permanently, not at least at this point. They wanted to see if it was going to stay put without actually attaching it to his esophagus like they did the other one. So, so far, he feels really good. And yeah, that was on Wednesday, so it's been a few days, which is not that long. Things can 
definitely change yet. But I'll tell you, when they took the last tent out, it only took a couple days and his esophagus started closing up already. So, yeah, he definitely is going to need a stent in for the rest of his life, but better than the alternative which would be a feeding tube for the rest of his life. And who the heck wants to do that? I mean, I know there are people who have to for one reason or another, but given a choice, you'd rather try something different, right? I can't imagine not ever eating or tasting food again for the rest of my life. It's one of the few pleasures in life. <laughs> Tasting that nummy food. Now this must be dressed too here. Okay, then we'll have to decide what colors we're going to do some shading with. Oh, I do love that color. That's why I thought maybe going this route would work good with this. I'm not sure what colors I'm going to go with him. I might do him more flashy. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What color do we want to start out with for shading? How about the emerald? That would be a nice dark. Because we can, you know, go then in with a green green, you know, and, and brighten it up. But I think maybe, or maybe the light green. Yeah, maybe this light green. And then lightening it all up with the malachite. Let's try it. So let's get the light green. So I gotta get in, get into my greens. Okay, that's light green, 032. 032, here's the malachite. Might as well get that out right away. Light sea green. Okay, two before that. Medium spring green and light green. I found it. I found it. Sorry for my arm. Okay. So let's see how this goes. I'm kind of excited to see, you know, how I can do the rest of her hair and, and do some more shading of that off camera when I'm uh, a little less nervous. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm going to leave this alone up here for now. We're just going to do some shading down here. Oh yeah, I think this is a good match. We'll have to do some. Now I'm doing this at an awkward angle, so I'm not flipping the book at you. Uh, yeah, I'm not flipping the book at you. Mm -hmm. On you. Okay, and then I think we'll have some shading under each tier here. And yeah, right now I'm just gonna go in real lightly. Okay, then let's go down 
just kind of following what the artist drew. And I'm just going to and then kind of round them off a little bit down there. Now we'd have dark under in here. And under here. And like I said, I'm going to have to do another layer of this. Which I know, shock, shock, because you know I am not typically... This would be dark in here. I'm not typically a layering person. I am more of a blending person. Let's go in with this malachite now. And then I think I'll also have to get another color out. And I don't want to go too hard yet because I don't want to burnish the paper. Oh, that's pretty. Now, of course, to get, you know, something lighter in here yet, because this is only a couple colors plus the marker base, but, you know, if you wanted to highlight something in here, you can go in with the white, you know, and, and brighten something up. But I think that is turning out. I am uh, working with Belba family. I uh, did contact them in regard to a few videos ago. I had shown um, on my channel a different way of doing a color by number type picture. And it was just a, a freebie you could get off the internet. And I shared that internet site because there were free downloads like crazy, including some adult coloring, you know, pictures. Um, and it was kind of a, a grid, kind of, you know, like Belba family likes to do. Um, but you had to, um, you know, there was letters across the bottom, A through whatever, however many columns there were. And then there were numbers up the side. And then there was a grid on the bottom that told you what color went in each of those squares. And so I was talking with Belba, and they are working on getting a book out like that. Isn't that neat? <laughs> now, I did tell them that I would, you know, once they had one done, I would be willing to try one out for them and just, you know, do maybe some of it off camera and then do some on camera with you because they were kind of you know we were going back and forth as far as how big should we make the squares because couldn't really keep them as small as what the typical squares are in Belbo family's books those are three by three and yeah, that would have been pretty impossible to do, you know, this, this other style of mosaic, you know, mystery type of picture coloring. And so we kind of went back and forth. 
And I said, well, I don't know, maybe five by five, but it was hard for me to picture in my mind, you know, how little or how big that would be. And so <clears throat> they, you know, kind of worked on it for a while and got back to me and said that they thought maybe a six by six was going to work really well until they started, or five by five, I think they said, until they started adding the grid at the bottom. <laughs> and so they went from going five by five, they decided to go six, six millimeter squares, no, seven, seven. They jumped from five to seven. So of course the pictures are gonna be much more pixelated um, than what we're used to. But yet if you went much smaller than that, yeah, it, it would have been, I don't know. I guess we're, we're going to have to see. Um, but just thought you, I'd let you know that that's coming down the pike. Isn't that pretty? I like how that's turning out. I love those colors together. I'm amazing myself. <laughs> Okay, let's let's work on this. I'm going to do this part off camera so um, we can do a few different things on here before the color and chat is over. So, like I said, I kind of wanted to do some dark greens, like olivey type of greens. So, like these kind of colors. So we'll shade like with that one and maybe this dark, this dark green. Yeah, maybe these two. So let's see what a good base would be. Maybe a YG95 or is that too much on the yellow side? Yeah, I think maybe something like YG63. Yeah, let's go with that. YG63. Where are you? There you are. And this is pea green. <laughs> pea green. So yeah, I can't wait to uh, get this from them and print it out. And I, I think I'm going to try it with a number of different mediums. And I'm going to try it both ways with my beloved X, you know, cross stitch method. And then I am also going to try it with um, completely coloring it in. And just because I know oh, every once in a while it does that. I'm going to have to pause, go get a Kleenex. One moment. And you get that every once in a while with the Copic markers where all of a sudden it just kind of decides to spit up on your paper. <laughs> Anybody that's worked with uh, Copics, yeah, it just does that every once in a while and it even happens to the experts. So now I'm going to have a flipping line there, but good thing we're going to be covering it up with pencil. So it's not, not as important. So yeah, I'm real excited to get that from Belba. Just kind of play around with it. And then, yeah, I wanted to do a little bit on camera with you guys because not only myself, but Belba family is going to want some feedback from all of us before they proceed with the rest of the book. They kind of want to do, you know, what what we want, which I think is awesome. They are so great to work with. Really, really nice people over there. And yes, they came out with another new book. I probably won't be getting it for a while. It is not one I am going to purchase on my own, but 
I will wait to get the one they're sending me, but that probably won't be for a couple weeks. Unfortunately, because it looks pretty neat. So, yeah, we can look forward to that, too. They keep coming out with books. Boy, between Belba Family, Sun Life Drawing, and Jade Summer, it's like every week we have one or two new books to look at, right? Man, oh man, oh man. I don't know how these people are putting out books this fast. <laughs> wow. And then you have Coloring Book Cafe in that mix, too. Wowie, wowie. And another one that I collect, you know, the Camellia Angelkova. She doesn't put them out quite as fast as the others, but... I have no idea what I'm going to do with the background on this. Other than the fact that I may water wise because this is you know all under water I may use a pan pastel background kind of go around them fishies um, as much as possible and because the nice thing about pan pastels is that they're so erasable <laughs> you know you can uh, like um up here, you know, if I go in here with pan pastels, I can just get my electric eraser or uh, the real thin Tombow eraser. That's probably what I would use, you know, and erase back off. And I was going to go over those with gel pen anyhow, so I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so first, let's see. We're going to do moss green and dark green. Let's see where they are. There's moss. That was a good grab and dark. Wow! Amazing. Okay, so we're going to go in with the darkest color first. So we know it's going to be dark underneath. So let's start there. Let me take a sip quick. <clears throat> it's so deceiving outside because the sun is just a shining. But yes, it is quite cold. I actually get to mow lawn tomorrow. Yes, I said I get to mow lawn. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, I love mowing lawn. And I mowed lawn last weekend. It was so nice out then. Good. It's supposed to be warmer tomorrow, though, than what today was. Today was quite chilly the past few days. Okay, so we're going to do dark around both sides here. And again, I'll be... This is kind of just a first layer. And then we're going to go down the with a highlighted that, uh, what was this called? The moss green here. And as far as the house, it definitely is sold. We, uh, the individuals buying the house had an appraiser come in 
last Wednesday, so we had to be out of the house just for a half an hour, though, so that wasn't too bad. Good thing Bob was, you know, feeling good and everything because his uh, procedure was at 9, and boy, is that different going into the hospital now with all of this going on. Holy cow. You know, as soon as you walk through the doors, there they are taking your temp and asking you questions. And <laughs> oh, yes, very different world we live in now, right? So things are proceeding, I guess. Now, this color is very similar. I may have to go in with another little bit lighter color and highlight that a little more because these are so similar. Yeah, you can't really tell the difference between those two. So, <clears throat> wonder if that might be good. There's this like, it's kind of like a tawny yellow. So it's, you know, it's yellowish, but it's got that little bit of a tint of green to it. I'm gonna, I think, go down the center with that. Let's see, where is that tawny yellow? Here we go. And just see what that does. Yeah, I think we need something lighter than that. How about, hmm, let's go with a light. Let's go with the uh, apple green ones. Try a nice bright green and spruce it up a little bit. Yeah, we need it to go quite light on there so that it brightened it up. Makes a little bit of a difference anyhow. And again, I don't want to quite burnish this yet so I can put another layer down. I am using medium pressure now, but well, that brightened it up a little. I think I'm going to maybe add like a yellow in there too or something yet. I'll have to do some playing with that. I'm just going to leave all these pencils out and these markers. Um, let's see. I think let's just do her lips and you know the rest of her face and I think we're gonna we're gonna call it good I'm gonna put a base uh, marker down we're just gonna go with a really pale pale pink um, let's see what's a nice pale pink RV-10 is really pale. We'll try that, see what it looks like. I like that. Just, just subtle enough. Then, let's go in with the uh, pencils. What would work? Because I want to give her some pretty pink lips, but nothing too outlandish. How about we do pink and light pink? Pink and light pink. Now, let's see where they are. <gasps> They're right here. Holy cow. That never happened. Okay, so... We're going to do darker on the corners 
and down on the bottom and the top lip. It's kind of hard when it's so teeny like this. And then we're going to blend in with the light. Leave a little bit of, I don't have my brush over here, a little bit of white in the middle for the pout. <laughs> There. Okay. Well, that didn't take long, did it? All right. Now we're going to do something with her eyes. Well, let's put a little bit of... I think we'll use the dark color from here. And I'm just going to color it in solid. She's actually starting to look like a person. Or a mermaid. Okay, we got to give her blue eyes, right? And then I think, let's see, do I have a very fine, yes. We're going to give her a pupil. <laughs> so let's give her really pretty blue eyes. I think I'm going to do that with the Copic. Okay. So, what's a pretty bright blue? How about like this B12? Don't want, you know, anything too bright and out of this world. Although she is a mermaid. I'm just going to dot in here because it's so teeny. Okay. And because it's so small, you can't really shade in there. So I'm just going to put her pupil in there. Yeah, I think that looks better. I'll uh, see if I want to put a little bit of dark blue, you know, like on the top and stuff. But right now, I'm not going to. I am going to leave it here for now. I think she is turning out the wunderbar. What do you think? Let me look at it on camera. Yeah, I think she's going to be pretty. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to work on anything tonight. Um, because I, due to unforeseen circumstances, <laughs> first started recording my videos late. Um, opted to do this color and chat first so got that out of the way but yeah I have a lot of flip through videos and lots of other things to do so um, I'm again gonna leave this here I think it's turning out great so far um actually surprised myself <laughs> uh, and then yeah I'm gonna get out my pan pastels for him um I may do the <clears throat> the skin and the hair with the marker and the pencils though um, yeah either that or maybe I will do it all with pan pastels I have wanted to do some more dabbling with the blending and shading of the pan pastels for skin and for hair I've only done it once before and it actually I mean looks okay <laughs> surprise surprise uh, so maybe, maybe I will do that and I'll see. And if it doesn't turn out, I can always erase it <laughs> and go back to the marker and pencil. So, well, I thank you for clicking on this video and for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me work again in this Mermaids and Mermen book by Zenzu Creative. Um using marker and then pencil over the top. As you can see, it really is nice to put down a marker color, then shade on top. Because again, you're not working with pure white paper then. You could see how much easier it was for me to shade on here and get a nice blend with having this base color, right? Yeah, it, it really does help when you're working with um, pencil. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I'm going to work on this here and there. I'm not going to work on it steady. I'm going to actually have a whip. Oh, 
Lisa never has whips. Um, but then go back to a color by number picture, come back to this. Yeah, no. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific weekend so far. And as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.